Papuan mummies are a tradition of preserving human remains in the mountainous region of Papua Island. In contrast to the tradition of mummies in Egypt, the mummies from the island of Papua are not in caskets and wrapped in cloth, but are still intact and dark in color after being smoked. In a study conducted in the late 1980s and early 1990s, seven mummy traditions were found in Jayawijaya district and Yahukimo district. In general, the mummy is a man. However, there is also a female mummy in Papua which apparently was accidentally formed due to cold weather and was found in a cave, namely the Yaman Silic mummy in Karima. The mummies in Papua are also in a sitting position. The reason is that in prehistoric concepts, burial in a sitting position is like the position of a baby in the womb. Then the mummy took a sitting position with his mouth open and his hands holding each of his knees. This mummy from Papua is not kept in a museum or coffin, but is placed in a Hanai house and is very sacred. In the process of making a mummy, the body is first smoked with firewood. Before smoking is carried out, newborn pigs are prepared as a sign of time. The smoking time is from the time the pig is born until the pig has long tusks. After the fumigation was finished, ceremonies were carried out to bathe the officers, release the mummy by cutting a pig which was used as a sign of time and draping the cut pig's tail around the mummy's neck. After all the process of working on the mummy is complete, it ends with a stone burning party. Interestingly, there is another process in mummification in Papua. The Mek tribe places their bodies on trees for one year so they become mummified naturally. So there are two methods of purification in Papua, namely smoking and placing it on a tree. Then, the mummy was placed in a Hanai, traditional Papuan house, and in a cave. The Werapak Elosik mummy is around 230 years old and still wears traditional Koteka clothing which is still intact. He was a war commander and died from a sedged spear, stab wound which is still clearly visible today. Every five years a traditional ceremony is held to put a kind of necklace around Wimintok's neck. The ceremony was accompanied by the slaughter of pigs. Then the weakness of the pig was smeared all over mummy's body. From this necklace, the estimated age of the mummy was obtained, namely around 382 years. These mummies were only placed in a wooden box and stored in the Pilamo, a traditional house only for men. Not all corpses here are allowed to become mummies. Only those who have great services to the tribe, such as tribal chiefs or war commanders, are traditionally allowed to become mummies. We can find this Papuan mummy in the Kurulu district. Kurulu is a district in Jayawijaya Regency, Papua, Indonesia. The journey from Wamena City to Kurulu district takes one hour from Wamena City. Sometimes it could be a little tough, I just need